everybody. Uh, somebody had a question about uh, saving global sections in Go High Level slash Funnel Gorgeous or any of the other white label programs. So I just wanted to do a quick video and show you. Um, there's two different ways that you can save sections. One is in a global section. The other one is a template. The difference, which I'll show you in just a second here, if it's a global section, the beauty of that is you can apply it to all of the pages in your funnel or in your website. And then if you make a change to one, it will automatically change it on all of those pages throughout that particular funnel. If you save it as a template, then you can pull that section in whenever you're working elsewhere. So let's say you've started a completely brand new funnel and you want to use the same section, you could pull it in. So let me jump in and show you how to do it. So let's say this top section up here is like maybe my header section that I want to set up as a global. In other words, that I could pull it in on all of my pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is I like to, when I'm on my sections, if you come over here to the far left, notice it just says header. While I'm here, I like to name them because if I have a page that has 50 sections, it's real easy for me to find it. A little tip here, I always use my initials or my client's initials when I'm creating these. So they're all uh, like stacked together. So uh, Debbie Starr here, and this is going to be, I'm just going to say, um, let me just call it my main funnel header. Okay. I guess I didn't have to type that twice. All right. And that, that's what I've named it. Now, if I come up here, I'm just going to save. Uh, saving early, saving often is my philosophy. Now, if you come to section up here at the very top and now say manage. And now see, because I've renamed it, it's very easy for, for me to see which section it is that I want to do something with. And if you come over here to the far right, you see that tiny, tiny little floppy disk. Who remembers what a floppy disk is, right? And when I click on that, notice now I can save it as a template or a global section. Still have to give it a name here. Again, a global section means I can use it in other pages on this particular funnel. And if I make a change to one, it's going to change it to all. So I use the same naming structure. And I'm just going to say top header section. And I'm going to save the section. Then I'm going to come up here to the top and save it. Now, once I do that, notice it's turned it purple instead of just green around the section. That's just a reminder that <clears throat> if I'm using this section in other parts of this page or other pages, if I change it one place, it'll change it on all of them. Now, just a little extra side note. Let's say that I know that I want to use this in the future, then I probably at the same time would do section, manage, come back over here to that section, save it. This time I'm going to call it a template and I'm going to use my initials and um, I'm just going to, because this is a test, um, header section. All right. Another quick little tip, I like to use all caps because those section titles pop out very easy for you to find. So just a little tidbit. Okay, so now we've saved this as a global. We've also just saved it as a template. Now, if I go to another page in this funnel, so let me go to my next page in this funnel. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that section. Now there's already a section here that looks like it, but it's not because it's green. I'm going to delete that section and now I'm going to add a new section. So I come up here to section, add section, and now here's just the normal sections, but now notice our global sections and Right now, in this particular funnel, I have two global sections. And notice I named it with my initials, top header. So I'm just going to click and drag that, put it right on the top. And I'm going to save my funnel page. Now, here's where the, the magic comes in. Because this is a global 
header or a global section, if I make a change, it's going to save it to everything. All right. So I am going to say uh, global consulting and funnel builder. Okay. So maybe that's my heading. And I'm actually going to grab this. I'm going to pull it right there. And uh, let's see, what else do I want to do? I'm just going to maybe make this really small like this. And let me just, uh, what else can I do? Let me just add a quick button here and appointment, if I can type. Okay. Uh, ugly green here. Let me see if I can change that a little bit. Whew. All right. So I've modified this quite a bit. All right. Now let's click to save. And now it's telling me you made changes in a global section, which can affect other pages. Do you want to do this? I'm going to say, okay. And now I'm going to save the page again, just because I'm paranoid. And now I'm going to go back to that first page. And you'll notice it updated all of those things. So that is the beauty of creating a global section. Uh, once you get it perfect, then you can reuse it. And you know what? I'll tell you where I really like to use a global section. When you're building out a sales page, this is just a sample page here, but you know when you build out a sales page and you have that uh, kind of digital stack that shows what everything is included and the pretty picture and the price and all of that kind of stuff, I will save that section as the whatever I want to call it, my global stack section, because that section I might repeat two or three times on the page. And then I might even repeat it over on the sales page. And if I have to tweak it one time, I would much rather tweak it once because it's a global section instead of having to change it in three or four different places. All right. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, if you saved it as a template, then when you want to add a section, again, you would do the same thing. Whoops, sorry. This time you would add, and then when you go to my layout, and again, if you, you might have to navigate through, let me see what, what ones I've saved here. Um, probably have a million of them here. This is my test funnel. Let's see. Um, Anyway, all of these, so let me just grab this one, for instance. I have no idea. Okay, so there it is, all right? So if you create a section and you think, I really like how this looks, I think I wanna use it in other funnels, but maybe um, you know change the color and all that kind of stuff, by saving it as a template, do you see I could just pull it in, even though this was used in a different uh, funnel uh, page? All right, hope that helps. Reach out if you have questions.